Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is about auditing. Auditing is not my field of expertise, but I was requested to record a video about how to collect audit information on Refinitiv Icon. And then we use the screener. So, okay, auditing is not my uh, field of expertise, but I know where, uh, where to find the audit information. And that is what we want to show you today. So we are not showing how to perform auditing and so on, but how to collect audit information on financial statements using Refinitiv Icon. That is a powerful tool where we can collect info from a bunch of companies at the same time. And guys, subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpin. So let's go to Refinitive Icon here. So this is my, this is the homepage. So where can we collect it? First of all, we need to go to Screener. This is on my, uh, on my apps because I use it a lot, but what if it is not on yours? It is quite easy to find it. App library. Just type here, e screener, and here you got the e screener. Okay. Open the screener. Okay. First of all, what kind of companies do we want? So here, a currency. You can select, okay, all of this info will be in US dollars, or you can choose the currency here that you want. Public companies, that is usually what we collect, especially about auditing. And here on quick filters, based on countries, based on sector, industry, and so on. So let's grab some economic sector names. So just some random. Numbers here, so healthcare, 4,000, I think the maximum number is 5,000, let's double check here, 8,000, I know it's too much. So let's go icon, and I am working on a web-based, so a little bit slower, but easier to record videos. Maximum 5,000 results, so we need a other filter, so we... Don't care about filters here, so health, uh, healthcare is good. So, okay, 4,000, a lot of companies, a lot of different countries, and we want to collect auditing info. So, how do we find it? First of all, instead of add columns here, click on launch data item library. The first one, we, we want to know the date of this financial statement. So we come here, the easiest way, there are a lot of ways. Easy ways is balance sheet. And balance sheet, you, we will find all of the info that we need. First of all, accounting standards. Are we talking about US CAP or IFRS? So let's add it, it's quite a good info. Uh, what is the date of this balance sheet? So balance sheet period and date we have our uh our date for our balance sheet here and now about auditors so first of all who is the auditor and auditor code what is the opinion auditing auditor opinion and why looking for a balance sheet is the easiest one we can, find, we can look for income statement and so on. However, it is not allowed to work with more than one auditing company. I cannot hire one auditing company for my balance sheet, a second one for my income statement. And also the opinion is about the auditing, not about each of financial statement. So we cannot get a qualified opinion for balance sheet and unqualified opinion for income statement. That is not possible here okay we can also add country here 
Now let's add country here. But we are working with different countries and different uh, county standards. So county, co uh, country of headquarters. So here, here is what we have. Unqualified opinion, not available, and so on. We have a qualified, so we have a lot of codes here. And again, auditing is not my area of expertise, uh, but you can find it. Uh, Company KPMG, not available. Uh, Ernest Young and Price Waterhouse. So here we can find some companies. And here, I don't want the country here. I want the country right before the balance sheet. Whoa. I don't want to filter it. So here, We only click here and move to where we want. So here, you know, and I want a, okay, alphabetic order now. And how do we, okay, I want to add it to my Excel file. I don't want to keep it here because I cannot work on that. And here we can see we have a lot of 2020 and 2019. And here is a 10K. So it is the annual financial statement. You can also look for quarters. And how do you look for quarters? You go back here. Balance sheet. Let's come here again. Auditor. And here financial period. Instead of fiscal year, we can work with quarter. So let's fiscal quarter and so on. So here you, is where you choose if you want a fiscal year or fiscal quarter, okay? But usually auditing, we work with financial year. So I wanna copy and paste this number to my Excel file. Don't try to copy and paste. It will not work or work badly. It's quite easier. Here, export all values and our formulas. We want the values. Uh, just save it anywhere you want. Okay. And guys, pay attention here. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen here. But if it shows any error message, uh, just click yes. You can open even with this error and you will be good. So here, now you have the... Uh, on Excel, and you can copy, paste, and do whatever you want with this info. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at discarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.